Will Hill here is working his magic. Happy to have the help. things I decided to get a little bit more aggressive I've got some rubbing compound um, I'm not too worried about going through the uh, anodizing it's reasonably thick and this isn't that aggressive and I finally think I found something that's actually taking the red oxide off so I'm gonna do this back corner a little bit and then I'm gonna wash it off and see how it looks There we go, that's working good. Okay, so I've been polishing the bus and I've been doing it by wet sanding and uh, I'm using different grits of wet sandpaper, 800, 1500, then I'm going to go to a uh, high speed buffer to get the final sheen on it. But what I wanted to show you is, you can actually sand this without going through the uh, anodizing. And how you can tell that is, see how this is like a white color coming off? Well. I'm going to hit this piece down here. I've already hit it once, but... Okay. See how we've got like a black oxide coming off? So this is bare aluminum versus anodized aluminum. So there you go. Okay, so first round of um, polishing on this side. I didn't do the Greyhound lines because I want to take some uh, measurements before I polish that off, but I got rid of the Tiger's logo. Most of the Tiger is gone, fortunately, but you can still see the Greyhound. There's the Greyhound. She's still there. Still needs some more polishing, but that's not bad for uh, two days of work for the first shot. To show you the difference, I'll walk around this side of the bus. I did do the first, well, I didn't finish it, but I started the first section there. To show you the difference, it's all, it's not so shiny. Um, get back a little bit here, you can see better. You can see the Tigers logo in there. It's really dull looking and faded. You can really see the Greyhound lines on this side. It's pretty cool. Um, I did do this back corner. So you can see the back corner. That was uh, before I got out the wet sandpaper, and that was just done with the um, rubbing compound, which isn't as effective, so it'll come up some more. But uh, there we go. We're getting there. Hello, everybody. So today we are buffing the bus. I've got my first victim with free labor. I mean, volunteer. Uh, Will here, he's one of my pilot buddies. He's come over to... Hello. Help me polish up the bus, so let's see what kind of damage we can do. Uh, we've been experimenting with steel wool, rubbing compound, we've got a wool pad on the buffer here, and it seems to be a combination of everything that works best. Uh, we tried this piece here, just with some steel wool, and it didn't really clean it up that good, so then we hit it with the wool pad and the rubbing compound after the steel wool, and I think that's the ticket. I did some wet sanding on the other side, it worked okay, but it was a lot of freaking work, so I think with the buffer, 
and uh, the steel wall, I think we'll get this bus done in no time. I don't know about no time, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so you want to steel wall it and then I'll follow yeah, along with Yeah, let's do that. Pad. I don't want to get too far ahead of you so it doesn't dry out. Right. Just some 600 grit wet sandpaper, and I just want to see if I can polish out some of the deep scratches. Somebody cut vinyl out on the bus, and there's knife marks where they cut the vinyl. And uh, what I did on the other side is I used this 600 grit wet, and then I went to a 1500 grit. But I think we can skip the 1500 and we go straight to the polisher with the compound. all the marks out but as long as we can get some of the deep ones kind of cleaned up a bit so you don't notice them as bad I'm okay with that that's actually helping a lot well it might just be taking the color of the compound out too. Yeah, that's true. See if we can see those marks there. Right over the, even the white. I mean, overall, I think it's better, but I don't know if it's really taking much of the marks out. Let's dry it and buff it. See if that does. It does well, look that shiny. Looks, that looks a lot better. Run the buffer down it and see. Yeah. Oh, you want to put more polish on? No, because that's just water. That's just soapy water, okay. right? Yeah, there's a bit on the pad that it's kind of worn now too. So. Well, and it's gonna be dry by the time I get it back up here. That's what happens when you do this work in Canada when it's cold. I think for, for the scratches, the yeah. it's worth the wet sanding. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's worth it on the rest of it. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think I would agree with that.
So here we are, we're finishing up the last four feet, the last luggage bay, and then we're just about done. William's been working hard, I've been working hard. We're just about there. We have to give it a quick wash and wash the rest of the compound off. And uh, we're just about done this side of the bus for now. It'll need some more touch-ups, but the overall effect is actually pretty stunning. So you can see we've washed up to this line right here, and then to the left of that line is still needing to be washed up, but Will's doing a good job there just finishing it up. And uh, we're almost out of daylight. The sun is going down. It's below the horizon already. It's been a long day, a long hard day, but the bus looks great. Okay, the final product. Here we go. We purposely didn't polish off the Greyhound lines yet. Um, maybe, can't really sit that angle. If I come back at it this way, there, there you can see it. Once I get some decals made up, we'll finish polishing that section, but She's looking pretty shiny. After a couple of days of work, Gus is looking pretty darn good. I just want to give a big thank you and shout out to my friend Will for helping me polish and uh, bringing over his buffer. And uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe.